What's up, beautiful gamers? Blank here, and welcome back to another episode of Boo Path to the Teal Lotus. And hey there, buddy. Hello there. Before we speak with him, friend, remind that you guys enjoy this episode. Let me know by leaving a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And um, yeah, what's up? <laughs> that was fast. Boo! You always seem to show up right when I need you the most. My armapillos have all wandered off in my absence. Oh dear, oh dear, whatever am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? They must be so cold and lonely without the mighty Shimeji to protect them. There are four of them and I need your help. They're in this cave. Please save them. Sure. I mean, it's kind of adorable the way that this game gives you quests. One of the things that I'm the curious about the most is this thing. Like, we have these quests, but so far, it kind of says when something is completed, which is cool. But then, can we actually miss on quests? Are there going to be quests that we're going to be getting that we don't know about? Know what I'm saying? Like, those are things that we do not know, and hey. I mean, I guess we'll discover them eventually, but I don't know, man. It becomes a little bit confusing. Right there! Oh, shit! Okay, this guy can die. I'm gonna need that. Oh, no. Did I mess up? Yeah, I messed up. I cannot even reach this right now. Oh, wait, but I can take the pillow, no? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, something that you gotta, like, gotta, gotta consider is doing things like this and then shoot it in there. Oh, goodbye. We got the first one. My boy. Goro Goro. You look like you've seen a ghost. The demons won't hurt you now. But Goro Goro is on our end. We're gonna have a new friend. Now we gotta go get the rest. Some of them are, if I remember correctly, are kinda complicated to get, which is gonna be a pain in the dick. But hey, once again, nothing too complicated. Nothing that we have to worry about. Right. Wait, so how am I supposed to get you? Oh, I remember. Yeah, yeah, whatever you do, or whatever you say, just kill him. Oh, oh, so the, excuse me. If you guys notice, whenever you jump, there is like a, there is like a slide, how do you call this? Uh, floating like you float for a second whenever you jump and that's kind of cool if you ask me but please don't 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 do it don't do it okay because if these things are far enough they will suddenly fly and that's not cool there it is keep going beautiful you know i kind of at some point after i did the first section because this game a lot of people was doing like or were doing uh how do you call this uh, a couple of people were doing like speed runs for the game already right and uh like taking a look at the way that they were playing the game boy i must say some people are just monsters like the way that they do things is just incredible Aha, whatever your name is, I'm so sorry. Wasn't meaning to skip that, but mistakes were made. You guys can pause the video for one second, though. I know that you guys can do it. Uh, how do you take care of this one? Oh, yeah, this is the easy one. This is like just a matter of like, you know, technique. You just gotta like push it out to the top. Oh my god, I messed it up. There! Oh, yeah. And then just in the back. Wait, can you come back? Yeah. Did you get there, my friend? Didn't get where I needed to. But hey, he got far enough. No! Ho -ho! Don't you dare get it. There it is. Pendula, you have returned. Goro Goro will be pleased. Wait, uh, is, is Pendula the, the one that gives Goro Goro the good Goro? Is Pendula the one that gives Goro Goro the Goro Goro? You guys know what I mean? Alright, as of right now, it's time for us to, like, god game this place. Know what I'm saying? Right. Right. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, you, you gotta do something like this. Send him flying over there. Can you do something like that? Oh, come on. No. I did it. We did it, guys. First try. Oh, my God. You guys have no idea how difficult doing that is. Like, the first time that we tried it before, it took forever. 
Mamoru, stubborn yet you cannot stay away. Welcome back. That is it. And then if you guys take a look at the map, we completed everything. So we got anything that we needed to get. Absolutely beautiful. Let's get a reward. Three, two, one. Oh, actually four. Oh, would you believe it? I came back. Do you have something to do with it? Ever since I met you, things are looking up to Shimeji. Here, I want you to have this. The key. The shiitake. Thank you very much for that. Arma Pira completed. So that's what I mean. It's like so far I haven't seen any point in the game where maybe we can miss quests. Because you cannot really progress without doing some of these quests, if you guys know what I mean. There it is. One thing goes down. There it is. Look at the damage. It's so good. Yeah, be careful. Give it a nice walk. Second walk. And then, you know, I'm gonna take care of this guy just for the sake of the experience. There it is. And now we can actually proceed and speak with this one. Open the key. Oh, wait. No. Open the door. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I'm really bad at this. By the way, this game is heavy. Heavy as heck. Like, honestly speaking, this game is absolutely insane when it comes to, like, how heavy it is. I... W w when I was playing the... How do you call this? Are you gonna shoot at me or what? Oh, right. Don't kill him. Because at the first I thought, oh, this is so annoying and it couldn't be destroyed. But then, yeah, exactly. You needed to do something like that. You can actually destroy it with the hits. That was absolutely hideous. Hey, shoot at me. Shoot at it there. And there we get it. And I, I spent like around... 20 minutes, maybe 30, just trying to do this. It was super insane. I'm kind of glad that now we know how to do it. But yeah, I didn't, didn't, didn't thought that I was going to be able to just hit that wall and break it because I was trying to shoot at it with the blue balls and it didn't work yet. But yeah, the first episode you guys saw 30 minutes long, it was literally more than 50 gigabytes. There's so much color in here. And here we go, guys. Here we go. The bohol. Hey, bohol! Let me. Oh my god, the unmanageable armadillo! So, like, to feed him... Oh, yeah, I remember. You have to, like, kind of, like... Yep, 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 I remember. Shoot at it from there. Beautiful hit. Maybe pay a little bit more attention. Ooh, you know what? Don't get cocky. Just... Let's, let's play... Let's cut game out of this, you know what I'm saying? Oh, he's gonna do it! He did it! He's doing it again! Now! Oh, baby! Oh, oh my god! Yep, stay away from me! Oh my god, the damage that we can deal! Where are you gonna go? Where are you gonna go? Dodge that! Dodge that! Oh, not that shot! Ho ho ho! And now I think we can heal up and then take care of him. There he is, one hit! Oh my god, he actually hit me! Okay, that was a perfect dodge over there! No! Don't touch me like that! Ho ho No! Oh my god, what a shot! First try. Let's go. That, you guys saw it, right? Boom. Right in the back. Beautiful. Can I can I keep that though? I wanna keep it. I wanna keep Okay. Oh the eye! I'll take it. The eye of the beast. Oh so, yeah, we definitely need this to make the potent tea. Ah, give me all of that cash. Wait! Oh you're probably gonna mm, wait, is this I think he's waiting for me upstairs. Wait, what, wait, wait. Oh, shite. Oh, wait. Is the fox down? Are you kidding me? Motherfucking go. Motherfucking fox. I swear to God. Give me out of this. We can now get back. Oh, no. There he is. Okay, you decided to move. What's up, buddy? I was tired of waiting. Have you found my ingredient yet? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Hand it over quickly. Please, 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 please. Now, as promised, you can drink it a bit too. But just a sip. Listen, a sip is all I need. Oh, baby. Give it maybe two sips. Okay. 
You know, I actually have a question for you guys. What type of mashup do you guys think this game is? Like, do you guys think that this is a mix between Hollow Knight and maybe Ori or something like that? Like, what type of mashup do you guys think that this game kind of like gives you? So, I suggest that you find the exit, the Moshi Cave, uh, the same way that you came in. Yeah, that's fine. We got the Eye of the Beast, we completed the quests. So, we're perfectly fine right now and we have the inventory and some powers. Uh, wait, can, can you dash in different... You cannot dash forward. Oh, you, you can only dash... Gotcha. But yeah, personally speaking, I am I, I am not too sure um, what type of mashup would I give to this game. Honestly speaking, it is it is one of those games that it does once again it does give me the the, the Hollow Knight vibes and and things like that. If you guys want to put it that way, but at the same time, but at the same time, I'm not sure because I did see this game being tagged like as a Souls like, but I am not feeling that just yet i think if you die you do lose some progress at which point yeah it would be a um it would be a um so it's like but i wouldn't i wouldn't be able to tell two thousand percent now i want to go down because i want to see what does he have for us like why is he down there that's fine i haven't spoken with him so this is the first time that i check down and i see that there's something Oh, it just... God dang it. <laughs> it just means NPC. But yeah, there is something about it that I think visually speaking is when I see the, the Ori vibes. I, I, I honestly don't think that anywhere else I can see the Ori vibes. Now, Hollow Knight itself, it's, it's a little bit tough. I know that a lot of people compare pretty much every single game and their mom to Hollow Knight, but I don't see the Hollow Knight on it. Yeah, you do have the down hit and like... The ability to like move around by using your powers uh, with the stick, you know what I'm saying? Like that ability. I don't know if you can really do that with like the um how do you call this? I don't think you can do that with like certain skills or like the spikes. Like the, the pogo spikes that you were able to do in the Hollow Knights. I don't think you can do that in this game. But at the same time, once it's called once again, there, there are big differences on both. The artistically speaking, visually speaking, and conceptually speaking, I think that there are big differences on it. It's it's the game is slower than Hollow Knight. Uh, the enemies seem a little bit different, less challenging also. So that's one of the things that actually uh, points out. So yeah, I mean, once again, some people might say that there are similarities, but in my opinion, there's not. Anyways, I spoke enough. You guys know what's up. So we kill all of this. Okay, we're gonna get everything. Now, mm, I, I do wanna go through the top to try to go back because I wanna get that arma pillow because there was an item that I didn't get, which I do want. So we're gonna be going for it. And of course, there's this guy who's a merchant. Hey, what's up, buddy? Like, is it, isn't it like great looking? Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Hello, 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 hello. Well, hello there, the tiny Tentahaya. Or Tentaihana. What? Tentaihana. I thought your kind had all fled from these parts. Don't mind me, I am but a humble traveler myself. My travels now mainly involve trips to the bamboo forest to relieve the rabbit's hut of their recent abandoned belongings. Oh, your eyes, my friendly. Your eyes, my friend, they shine brighter like the moon itself, a treasure to be coveted. May I have them? I will give you a special gift in return. I will surely attract wealth and prosperity. Yes, yes, I can do that. Will you give me the eye? Yeah. Oh, how disgusting. I was obviously only joking. You imminent dismember this best left to fortune. Jesus Christ. Let the jokers just eat the dog get close to me now. Although, I do find your naive enthusiasm quite adorable. It's price... Wait. It's a price of 50 foxfire for my special gift more agreeable? Yeah, sure. A very fine investment. You're a creature who has an excellent taste in special gifts. Here you go. I mean, I'll take anything for free and that was almost free, so I'll take it. So prosperity, now we can equip these kind of charms. And once again, same charm system. You just put them on, gives you perks. That's pretty much it. So now, oh, there it is, the, the straps. You need a couple of them to be able to put on the charms and be able to make them work. Uh, you would need this to use the amateur properly. Yes, yes, yes. However, you can only attach two at the same time. This shrine before might be appropriate to equip one. Yes, uh, you should sell more. Yes. Wait. Oh, 
because it's waiting for me to do stuff. So I think you just pause on it and then you go to the amatory. Oh, you have to wait. You have to be sitting in the shrine. Oh, so when you're in the shrine, you're kind of like drinking tea and things like that. That's when you open up the menu and you can equip them. This amatory attracts nearby kids to make rewards. That's actually pretty good. Okay, I got it. Can we speak now? That amatory would attract. Yes, I get it. This shrine before me might be an appropriate place to equip it. Yes. Oh, that's it. So I thought he was a merchant. If I'm not mistaken, he was supposed to be a merchant. Eh, doesn't matter. Ooh. Ooh. Give me out of that. Beautiful. Okay, so from here, we gotta go straight, but there are places that we gotta visit first. Wow, destruction. Oh, uh, take a look at the map. There is something in here or somewhere that we haven't been able to get. So we're actually gonna be going for those. There it is. Look at that. Secret walls. I'll take them. Die. Die. You too. Get away from me. Another one of the little fellas. That I still am wondering what am I supposed to do with them. Know what I'm saying? It's it's a little bit confusing. We know that the thing at the top is not enough. We still don't have something to be able to trigger them. And let's go back pretty fast so we can actually get um whatever creature is it that's waiting for us all the way over there. Or whatever reward. I think it's just another one of these little shinks. But you never know. Uh, there's nothing. I heard something. Oh, right, because it's at the top, yeah. If I'm not mistaken, I actually did this in the demo, but like a little bit better. Hello. Oh yeah, I, I definitely did this, but I don't know if I did this in the demo. I, I couldn't be able to tell. Anyways, as many of these as we can get, that would be the best. Do we have any type of... Yeah, we don't have any quests. We don't have anything that kind of like tells me what am I missing or, or what's happening. That's fine. Okay, so if we take a look at the map, we're going to be going back in there. There was nothing at the top that we could have done. But we're going to be going back down and we're going to be climbing from the bottom. From the bottom, we should be able to... Uh, like, pretty much what's happening right now is that I believe the bottom is going to have the merchant. That's what I'm looking. Because if I'm not mistaken, the top is going to be... How do you call this? How we go back. But I, I, I cannot remember for sure, so we're going to be going this way. Now, after we reach the top, we pretty much reach the end of the demo. So you guys know how it is. Uh, Hello, what are you? A set of lavish offerings. Three of them are empty. Interesting. That's actually pretty cool. So we're gonna have to find some offerings that we're gonna have to be able to put in here. I really wish I had a map. Okay, so let's get out of here. Let's do whatever. That's actually so cool. I wonder... Yeah, because you have to put them in there. So my guess is that we're gonna get something called offering or something like that. And you're just gonna have to equip them. Oh, wait, what? What just happened? Hello? Okay, beautiful. Okay, let's see if we can actually touch this and do it faster. Oh, but oh my god, the damage was insane. Cannot do anything with it. No. Just triple checking, you know how it is. You guys know the rules. You gotta check everything. Anyways, now that we have that power, everything becomes pretty straightforward. You just gotta, like, exit the cave. Uh, honestly speaking, the fox did say that he would suggest that we exit the cave the same way that we came in. So, it's not like you don't get a tip or anything for you to, like, verify. Know what I'm saying? So... Let's go. I tried to do a double jump and it didn't work. That was kind of nasty. That's a nice bite, so goodbye. Uh-huh. We got everything right. Now we have to go straight. Uh, can I shoot at you from here? No, I cannot. Let's go. Now let's get out of this place. 
I believe there's only one thing that we need to do right now. Uh, we gotta go through the top. But look at this. There's like a hole in there because you were not able to go through the top. You guys remember? So we're gonna have to go around. Couple of items that we gotta get though. Nice. Nice. And wait a second. I'm not going anywhere. I need to get out of this. Give me all those materials. Hello there. Goodbye. Oh, this is gonna be cool. Aha! I gotcha. Oh, uh, how do I get there? Alright. No secrets? No, none of them. We see the purple. Kind of like the most important thing in our repertoire. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Cannot interact with it. Because once again, it's... It's, it's one of the things that honestly annoyed me about the demo is like, what's up with those rabbit thingies? Uh, it kind of like annoys me that we would really were not able to like tell, grab them or something. It's, it's just a little bit annoying, if you ask me. Oh, come, oh, come on, you did it again, you son of a... As you guys might imagine, you actually need to take care of that guy if you really want to be able to do something in here. Um, so my guess would be that the best way to do this would be push it a little bit. So then push it up, and then aim. Good. No! No! Come on, Kim! What? <laughs> you guys saw that that was cheating? Yeah, that's straight up the game being like, ha! Ah, eat some of that. Yep, yep, yep. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, we send it up. Thank you very much. You should be it should be enough for us to like exit this place now. Wait, wait, wait. Armapilo! What are you doing in there? No, get out of here. Give me the charm. I think confidence kinda like increases your basic attack damage per hit significantly, but doubles the damage that you take. Honestly speaking, not a problem. Send it flying. And then make it make him take some damage, I believe. Yeah, there it is. Now, all you need to do, guys, is grab it, aim it, fire! Ba -ba -ba. Ha ha, beautiful. Okay, two things in here. First things first, there's like a coin there, but then we want to destroy that. So you have to like come in here and be a little bit more precise. So when I say precise, you aim like over there. Dang it, I took the damage, but the arma pillow is still here. So we're going to be hitting it up. Hitting it up. Oh, baby. And now we get the solutions. Which is a chest that has a lot of cash. Allows us to transverse in. And then we're pretty much done. So everything was explored perfectly. Now the only thing that there's left for us to do is cross through the caca and go to the other side of the map. Caca, are you here? Hello there. Caca, another vision. The flux flies freely. Tell pedal showers. Baby, caca. And then he's gonna talk. Undeniable, unbelievable! Yep, they know what's up. They are, you know, the oracles of this place. And here it is. So now we get this little thing. If I'm not mistaken, we should be able to use them at some point. But you guys see it's teleporters. Like we have one in there and we have one at the bottom. Oh, so man. Oh, wow. Oh my god, the place is gonna be huge. This map is gonna be massive. And here, here, here we are, guys. Here we are. Young Blossom. Oh, your birth has been blessed. Those bright eyes behind your mask have been shielded from the events that transpired before your arrival. I am Rozu, the last of the Usagi clan in this bamboo forest. I emerged from my secluded hut this eve to find my clan wielding in powers of Cinder and Ash. The folktales say we Tentaihana bloom in the wake of tragedy, and you would seem to be living proof. Ah, but all these folktales are just stories for children, no? And yet, a tiny teal lotus stands before me in my hour of need. Beyond this bridge lies peril and uncertainty. Is this why few from my clan rarely ever left this forest? But it would seem now. They were smarter than the ones who remained. Alas, hope dwells here 
Perhaps it is best for me to wilt on my own terms and storm my final requiem as the moon sets on the last night of the Osagi clan. Do you say something else? Yeah, he kind of like repeats whatever he says. Oh wait, he need to load those. Yeah, he, he uses the same, so that's perfectly okay. It's kind of awesome. I can see for how you bracely trek forward that you are a more courageous adventurer than I am. Perhaps there's still hope to hang to. May I ask a favor of you? Wow. Did you just send it flying or something? Does I scroll it's a message? A plea to my scattered king or homeland might be scattered, but it isn't lost yet. Not yet. Of the Osagi Tentehana that have stayed beyond this bridge, I know there are three. Perhaps there might be there might rekindle the spirit of our clan. There are Mitsuki, the golden hibiscus, Mikami, the white magnolia, and Mochi! My lovely dog is called Mochi, the back orchid. Find them, stranger. Deliver the scroll. Persuade them to come back. Back from our Christian forest. Help us rebuild our home and our hope. And finally, take this to help you on your journey. What are you getting? Hello there, I'll take that. Initiative. While equipped, this Omatori increases your attack damage when you interrupt your dash with a basic attack. Oh, that kind of sounds good. My Tsujomi forever light your path, the Lotus. There it is, and then we get another quest. Then we can get this, allowing us to remove things like this one and equip initiative. I actually like confidence a lot. Doubles the damage that we take. I do not know if enemies kind of like do a lot of damage or what the deal is. But look at that. Look at that. Below the dark water, she waits in no hurry. Five strikes of the candle will relieve, will reveal her true fury. Okay, that's kind of cool. New path forward shall be yours to take, but the ultimate fill shall toss you in her wake. So that sounds like a nightmare. Oh, wow. Oh, is this going to be like one of those hit up, hit up? Oh, wow. Oh, wait, wait, wait. But this is, this is a little bit strange, no? Because we cannot like do this. Oh, and then you hit the candles. One, two. Wait, do you have to like hit it five times or is it five candles? Five strikes of the candle will reveal her true fury. So it says five strikes of the candle, which I am not sure what you mean, but... Oh, so it's like literally little puzzles. Okay. Okay, I mean, this is awesome. Now, there is something that I will say. Right now, is, I just wanted to test that out. And right now is where we're actually going to be wrapping things up for the day. Next episode, we're going to be doing that section. But there is something pretty cool right here that we're going to be doing. I'm going to be removing this. And I'm going to be keeping prosperity. Because I like when things just come my way. That way we can get more resources and then focus on the rest. But it seems that you get achievements for get, finishing sections without dying. So my focus might not be not dying. I might take a sneak peek at the achievements just in case there is like an achievement for defeating bosses without taking that. You never know about that. We have the quest. We gotta find these people. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Much love to y'all. And I'll see you guys in the next one.